calls is resolute. The calls for his resignation and that of his deputies are unjust and needless. A demonstration after a 21-day ultimatum expired. Dr. Addison is unperturbed but focused on his job, he says, speaking to international business news portal Central Banking's reporter Ben Margulis. Governor Addison said the minority have many channels for their grievances in a civilized society, not through demonstrations on the streets as hooligans. This has infuriated the NDC MPs. His appointees, that is the president and the, the finance, current finance minister, have on several occasions uh, used peaceful protests, in fact sometimes violent protests, as a means of registering their their. Uh, their views. So in effect, he's calling President Akufuado and, uh, how do you call it, uh, Finance Minister Hooligans. Uh, I think they should take a cue from what their appointee is, 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 uh, is saying. Addison also told the portal the decision to start the new headquarters in 2019 was profit-based as a central bank only appropriated its profits for the construction. Addison also rejected the claims by the minority that he printed money to finance the lavish lifestyle of the ruling government. According to him, the BOG provided monetary financing during the 2020 and 2022 to meet specific crisis which he says is legal under the central bank law. The posture of the governor who only detailed his security had to receive the petition by the civil society organizations, the minority and other parties appears to have drawn the battle line. He can sit in his ivory tower and speak quite loosely, feeling that, of course, the appointing authority is an accomplice. So they are not, he's not going to be sacked. But the day of reckoning is coming. As for us in Parliament, we take note of what he say, he's saying. Parliament will resume very shortly. And uh, we have a few ideas as to how we are going to deal with the governor. But as far as we are concerned, he's a, a persona non grata currently, and we shall treat him like that. He wants us to be, he described us as hooligans. We shall show him who a, a hooligans are. A fire for fire situation currently between the organizers of the demonstration and the central bank. What impact could this possibly have on the bank? I feel the governor should examine his own civility. So it is just decent, it's just normal. To resign. Particularly so when you are even cushioned. The governor of Bank of Ghana retires on salary for life. So in any case, we're saying that, look, you have failed. And then you insult us as hooligans. Do I look like a hooligan? Kamla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.